Welcome back to the Super Mega Cast. This is episode 56. Yes, it is. And uh, we have a very special guest with us, Matt. Yes, his name is, uh, you might you might remember him. Uh, I've got our friend Tucker here. How you doing, Tucker? I'm good. How are you guys? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Well, that's well, good. Last time we had a discussion together in podcast form that we put to monetize up on our channel, uh, it was out in the woods. It was. It was out in the, we the uh, Ojai, California, mm-hmm. out in we, the woods. We went on a nice little hike. Yeah. Had it right in the middle of our campsite. It was beautiful. Not was as warm. far as a hike as you'd have wished. It was It was great. I, I am so proud of you guys and what you did the, for like a introductory, like we've never hiked together. I mean, it was it was great. It was wonderful, and uh, even also we left at sunset. Yeah, we didn't even leave at the right time. We left with like three hours of daylight, and I think it was perfectly reasonable. Where we yeah, got. we made some good progress on that trip. That was yeah. fun though. But it, uh, that was like episode thirty, so now it's fifty six. So it's been twenty six whole episodes since we've seen you. Wait, has it been twenty six? It's been twenty six okay. episodes. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure I'm doing thirty the math plus right. twenty is fifty, and then add six, fifty six. Right. right. This is episode fifty six, right? Yeah. Are you sure, episode positive. Episode fifty five was Aaron. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I remember that time we tried to do the math on that. Uh, are you smarter than a grader <laughs> thing? Someone uploaded a, a a thing with the SpongeBob music behind it. Yeah, that was right, Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> that was brutal. But um, just wanted to quickly give a shout out and a big. Warm thank you to everyone that um, bought shirts during the our first week of merch. We want to thank you guys so much. It went great, and you guys should be getting your shirts soon. So keep an eye out on the uh, on that mailbox for them. And thank of course, you. there yeah. should be more merch to come. That means more variety and other stuff. Not just shirts, not just posters, but other things. Maybe 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 some pins. Or I think some pins maybe, are coming. Yes, maybe some bow ties. Well, I don't know about bow ties, but <laughs> maybe in the future, you you never know what could happen. We got we got macaroni noodles that are shaped like our heads. <laughs> those coming. If we could do that, that would be. Oh, I would love incredible. to sell those. I feel like that the price to make that though would be so high. <laughs> but um, Tucker's been here and he's been helping us on several projects that we are uh, going to be more than happy to share with you once they are all done. I know we've been um, kind of, I don't know. Hey, this is going to come out in a few weeks. Two months later, nothing. You know? Yeah, yeah. We but right now there's like an entire arsenal of live action videos that yeah. just need to be finished. They're pretty exciting. I mean, I think a lot of the stuff that we put together is gonna be awesome. Especially one we made recently, shot the whole thing in a few days. Yeah, we did a four day looks, shoot. It looks great. It sounds great. It's I think it's pretty funny. I'm so excited yeah. to release this one. Like the first one that we made, the first video live action we made, which was with that you weren't here was like good and all of a sudden I was like I don't know how we're gonna like up it after that like kind of like I don't know I'm always trying to think of um I don't ever want to go down in like terms of ideas or quality but this next one that like uh Matt Tucker and I have been working on is like so fucking good it looks wonderful it. it sounds good and uh, the idea is just I yeah. love how the idea is so simple and dumb. And great. <laughs> we put up that, that's how, that's all that's yeah. what it has to be. It exactly. always has to be like stupid and dumb, and then you can just expand <laughs> upon it from there. Yeah. yeah, but we got that music video with a uh, with Oni with Chris coming out. Um, hopefully soon. Just got to do some 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 work on that, and then after that we have some more live action stuff coming out, or maybe before that music video. Who knows? But, uh, but yeah, there is a lot of stuff on the way, and this isn't just blowing smoke. We actually have it all filmed and everything. Yeah. I just have to finish editing. <laughs> it's funny because the, the two vlogs we have yet to release, or one was recorded like pretty much, you could just a, say, a almost year. a year ago. Yeah. And then another one was recorded almost like probably four months ago or so? Uh, it, May. May, okay. So three months. Three months ago. Yeah. Still significant. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a quarter of a year. Um, Tucker, I have a question for you. What's that, Ryan? What is your dream scene to work on? Movie, porn, commercial, whatever. What would be the dream scenario? Like, you're put in this situation to film something, and you would... Th- it would be kind of the the crown jewel of your whole life. You would be telling your grandkids about this. Uh, You'd have a plaque on your yeah. wall celebrating this yeah, moment. Just, just to specify, for those who don't know, Tucker is an artist. He is a painter. He is a photographer. 
He is a cinematographer, a cinematographer, and he's a uh, he works behind the camera. And he's he's wonderful at it, and he's he's got a beautiful website. You he's can check also out. sometimes an actor in some of our stuff. Sometimes, sometimes might see him soon. Cameo coming soon. Yeah, cameo, check exciting. check out a Tucker Prescott cameo coming soon. I think, um, in all seriousness, this is one thing I think between uh, what you guys normally have on your shows, and when I come on, I mean. Seems like I'm going to talk about things that are a little more, I don't know, serious, maybe. Or Okay, but, then we should end the podcast yeah, let's, now, man. All right. Thanks, yeah. guys. Peace See out. See you, Tucker. Okay, we're back. We kicked <laughs> Tucker out of the recording room. Anyways, Tucker, continue. I, I think um, what I'm most interested in and most excited about is like uh, genuine moments, so documentary. Um, and I, you know, I have a big investment in the outdoors and... Uh, and environmental issues and uh i mean i would love to shoot content that is uh real and happening there being in the moment with um something that's significant within that sort of context whether that be um i mean i I love outdoor stuff and this isn't exactly environmental um like uh trying to fight for the environment but I, i love climbing documentaries i love um, outdoor, uh, like backpacking documentaries. And, um, I just think the spirit of what people can do in natural environments is really exciting to me. And so I'd love to follow somebody on some kind of trip, you know, be there every step of the way, um, for, uh, you know, backpacking trip or climbing trip or whatever, uh, Nat Geo kind of stuff. That's, I think that's the, the top of the line for me. I'd love to do that. That's awesome. Um, submit your applications to our email address for Tucker to follow you on a trip. So if you want to take a, a trip, just let us know, and yep. Tucker will do it for free. Yeah, if you feel like walking across the country with no shoes on, and uh, you you have you know several thousand dollars for me to uh, come along, uh, feel free. <laughs> is there is there a place that you haven't been to that? you really want to go backpacking there and stuff like of course you have a bunch of locations but have you already been to that one that you've been thinking of for a long time and you're like i want to go there like we all have that one place where we want to go have you have you come across that place yet or are you still wanting to get there patagonia is a big um exciting environment and i've been down there and really enjoyed it i mean it's beautiful um the mountains are gorgeous uh that's that's that's, uh south america it's along the border. Close, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 I've never heard of where that actually is. So, Yeah, it's uh, way down south uh, between Chile and Argentina. It you know, straddles the border, that, oh, that cool. area there. Um, and, and the surrounding environment just south of there. And it's, I mean, it's gorgeous. I think one thing you'll find, or, or one thing I've found with going to a lot of different mountainous environments is... Uh, I mean, I don't know. A mountain's a mountain's a mountain, you know? Like, they're all mountains, and they're all beautiful and in similar ways. And it's just wonderful to be in an environment like that. I mean, there are specific places which have unique uh, aspects to them. But, I mean, just I, I love being in an environment where there are specific things you see which are connected to the whole rest of the world. Like, it's just it's just rock that's connected to a bigger rock. But yeah. we identify them as single objects that are so enormous we can never, you know, come close to the scale and, and power of what they are. And it's just, um, I think that's a really fascinating concept. So so my dad is really into outdoor stuff. So he's taken me to a lot of, uh, a lot of different mountains around, mainly around like the South United States, like um, South Carolina, upstate South Carolina, North Carolina, um, some Tennessee, um, so I haven't had that much uh, different experience with different types of mountains, but every now and then you'll get a nice cliff, get a waterfalls. Stream. Yeah, streams. That's like my favorite part about mountains. Is you got a crick, a crick, <laughs> a crick. Yeah, you got cricks. <laughs> yeah. See absolutely. a coyote or two. Coyote. Coyote. Is it is it coyote it's or a, coyote? It's a I hear coyote. both. Is it, is it which one is it? How do you say it? Is it coyote Tucker, or coyote? Tucker, do you know? Do you know the correct no. pronunciation? I feel like I. What if they're different? Are they the same or are they different things? They're the same things. They're the same things. See, I've heard people say. I feel like coyotes gotta be like Texas, New Mexico, Kyle. Colorado. Yeah. 
Coyote. Wait, are we sure that like coyote and coyote aren't like a buffalo bison scenario? It might be. I I, I'm almost certain they're different. Up. Hold on, let me look this I up. Th- I I always thought like when people are like coyotes, it's just some hick yeah. saying it. Like a, a well, wild they're spelled the same. Halina. They're spelled the exact same. So is same. buffalo That's and bison. <laughs> coyote, <laughs> prana, prana, uh, I can't spell. Pr- pronounce. Here we go. Coy- coyote. Pronounce. You can't pronounce the word pronunciation. <laughs> how, how, pronunciation of coyote. Okay. Click to listen to the pronunciation of coyote. Coyote. Oh. Coyote. 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 Okay. Either well, one. Either one works. Okay. That's that's I guess so. tomato. Yeah. Tomato. Tomato. I think coyote. Just, coyote. I think I'm gonna start using coyote. coyote Shorter. Sounds faster. Funny. Do you guys have coyotes in LA? Oh, yes. Oh, oh yeah. they they attack people, small dogs and cats, all the time here. Damn. They're loud, uh, especially in Silver Lake. Yeah, Echo Park. yeah, you can you can hear them uh, barking around and yapping, and and they run in packs. And every now and then they'll they'll run by at night, and you'll hear like, bah, 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 bah. You're we, all freaking out. We heard uh, a pack of them tearing something up one night. Yeah, like about a, like a little over a year ago. We wow. we, we heard uh, just some screeching and some some coyotes hollering. It woke us up. Yeah, it was loud. Like I was having a good old nap. I've seen them quite a few times. I've I've seen them just around uh, in my car. I've actually I've seen them in person, um, but they've been kind of far away from me. So. They're like gangly little wolves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just tiny when little wolves. I, on this last trip, uh, when I was traveling around, I was in Brighton for a few days, Brighton, England, and they. I don't know if this is like a UK thing or if it's just Brighton, but they just have red foxes that like hang out in the city like <sighs> dogs. That's I wanna, awesome. I'd, I'd just, love to see just, that. Like, you know, pat around, just I've, being little foxes. It's amazing. I rarely see foxes, and if I do, it's just like, you see them, then they're running away. Yeah, I, I've seen some beautiful uh, red foxes before in the woods, but... Um, Ever seen a... Are they, are they called just white foxes or snow fox, or what, what are they No, called? I've never seen one of those. Yeah, I haven't seen one. I would love to see those one. Pretty. I, want, I want to go hiking, like, I want to build up, like, I want to get a little more healthy than I am, of course. And you're and working on it. Congratulations. I, I am working awesome. on it. Thank you. I want to I wanna go somewhere in the snow. I'd love to hike and kind of camp somewhere in the snow. It would be miserable in some aspects, and I know it, but I just think I'd I'd really enjoy that experience. As long as you have enough insulation, yeah, I've I've, I've done it. Yeah, it's fun. It it well, you're right. How it kind of can be miserable in some aspects sometimes, um, but other than that, it's it's really fun. Yeah. It's like a it's a cool experience going out in nature and like a terrain that's you know icy and doing that Cause something I've, that you're not used to. I've only I think the worst condition I've ever camped in was just like a cold rain, oh, and so that like sucks. it, it no sucked. Problem. But like, okay, Tucker, what, what would you say? I know, I know, you love every experience, and they come at you as they go. But what has been probably the most uncomfortable camping experience or traveling experience that you oh, yeah. were a part of? Um, uh, I, I mean, there are a few. Uh, on this last trip, there was a night. Shining armor. Where, <laughs> he, cut, he cut his toes off. <laughs> there was a night where we were in Germany. Uh, we were in a small town, and we saw a sign for the circus. And we were like, oh, my God, the circus. And, and Connor, the person I was traveling with, who... Like, did uh, it look like it would have been like a clown circus with like yeah, a yeah, tiger yeah. on a ball? Exactly. Or is exactly. it an elephant on a ball? Uh, who both, stands on the ball the and balances? Time, I, I everyone. <laughs> okay. All at once. <laughs> okay. Everyone in the circus gets on the ball. So we see the sign for the circus, and Connor's like, oh, we should go. And it's in the nearest town, like maybe like 10 miles from where we are. So we hitchhike over to that town from we were, where we were, and um, the lady who brings us in drops us off as like the opposite side of the town from the circus. So we walk all the way to the circus, which takes like two hours. <laughs> we get to the circus and like it's a huge tent it's really exciting and we walk up there's nobody around there's nobody at the ticket office so we've got our backpacks on we just walk through the big flaps and then walk through another big flap and like immediately are just reveal this huge ring with all these people and there's like camels and zebras just walking around the ring just like it's just, it's just a circus happening in front of us and like nobody cares about us we just walk in and sit in the stands um, we're just there, uh, experiencing this weird German circus. There's like German jokes. Um, we don't understand any of it. They're spitting on each other. <laughs> Wait, they're spitting on yeah. each other? Like, Puh! yeah. Like seltzer water, like, oh, okay. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, oh, a, they even just like globs. So it's like a spit take. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like they're, they're, they're but it's, and how, how many spit takes do you think you witnessed in that one sitting? At least 30. 
No, it's are you cr- fucking no. kidding me? No, was, that was the whole joke of this. That's, like, that's almost like some fetish level stuff right there. <laughs> yeah. when, when you get to that number, that's like, like was it was it one of those things? It. Where it's like the first five were funny, right? And then, and then no, it just going. kept yeah. going. You're yeah, like, okay, exactly. I don't understand. That. So we go to the circus, have a crazy experience, don't know what's going on. Then we get out and we're like, where do we sleep? Because this whole trip, you just kind of like find a place to sleep. So we walk around um, this town in the middle of the night. Uh, we think we're gonna find this one spot, uh, but as soon as we like stop and look, this policewoman comes out of the dark with two German shepherds that are like barking at us like crazy, and just like passes by us, like and, like showing like, off their teeth barking or yeah, just kind of like yeah yeah yeah. And uh, I've got I've got recordings of this. Like, okay. Right? Yeah. Um, it's crazy. So we were like, we're not gonna sleep here. So we just walk around this town. Then by this time it's like 1 a.m. We walk around this town for probably two more hours, trying to find a place to stay. Can't. And by a place to say, I mean some like secluded wooded area. To yeah. Tents. We can't. So we, uh, the best place we find is next to a highway uh, entrance ramp. Just like right on the edge of the highway entrance ramp, there's this little grouping of bushes. And we just lay down our pads and sleeping bags and sleep there. Was there a guardrail? No guardrail. Quite easy for it a car. To... Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, Connor uh, said, like, promise me that no car is going to run off this road and hit us while we're asleep. And I was like, well. Did you promise him that? I did, but it's an empty, empty promise. Did you pray at least, at least make the likelihood go down? Uh, You know I'm Buddhist. Oh. Well, our, our God is going to do Well, it. I want to move Actually, on. I don't know anything about Buddhism. So. <laughs> <laughs> don't. No, at that moment, I was like, I was like, wait, is, is he really Buddhist? He was, like, I was like, I, I, maybe he is. He just hasn't told me. I, I don't know. So I was like, do I make a joke or is he actually Buddhist? <laughs> Still oh, make yeah. a joke. Of so that was Buddhist. an uncomfortable, a recent uncomfortable place to sleep. Have you ever just been in? I think the in terms of camping, the most uncomfortable experience I've ever had was when it was, you know, I can't make up my mind. What's more uncomfortable, camping in cold rain or camping in hot rain? Because hot rain, Ooh. you get humid, and then your sleeping bag, the inside gets all like sticky and damp. Oh, and then and like the morning after, right? It's horrible. It's just it humid. Awful. Your tent is just muggy. But then cold rain is like, the you know, it's a terrible feeling being cold and wet. So I don't know. It's 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 one or the other. Because when it's hot, the inside of your tent becomes your bathroom yeah. right when you get out of a shower. You know, yeah, it's like that, and your pillow is like that too. So, I don't know. I think just camping in the rain is no fun. Yeah. One time I forgot my tent and I had to <laughs> sleep under. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. You went camping. You forgot your tent because I I thought they were providing them. It was with Venture <laughs> Crew. It was with Venture Crew, and I just assumed they were providing them. And they're like, uh-huh. no, you had to bring your own little Oof. personal one. <laughs> or there just wasn't enough room for me. It was something I I didn't have a tent ready. The Maybe they camp, yeah. the whole camp has like <laughs> one big tent. It's like uh, you gotta, you gotta yeah. just outside. So I had to sleep with just my normal sleeping bag. This wasn't one that I could go fully into. I had to oh sleep in a normal sleeping bag under a picnic table while it was raining. <laughs> oh, under a picnic <laughs> was, table oh, while yeah. it's raining? Yeah, it was awful. That sounds like some I don't, some homeless. Doesn't level, sound like, like it even worked. Doesn't, Did like, you get wet? Yeah, okay, I got wet. But I had to like bunch up in my sleeping bag, and then then it stopped raining, and I woke up early in the morning, and I felt horrible, and then I got sick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see that? <laughs> Can that you? That sucks, man. It 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 it, it That's was bad. An awful experience. But but we got to make some. Uh, what are they called? Turtles. Oh we, yeah. The where you just ground beef and no. No, I'm, I'm th- I was thinking of like turtles are like the chocolate things. No, oh. we made like it's just like. Just tacos, a bunch of ground beef in the shape of turtles for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> okay, maybe that's maybe, what maybe we that's made. <laughs> then we then we then we made uh, pancakes and we put chocolate chips in them. Nice. And uh, my favorite thing we made was uh, oh, what was it? Some type. It's it's like a uh, it's a dessert of some kind. S'mores? No, no. Ice cream? No, you make it in... Ice cream cake? We put Sprite in it as like a lean. little ingredient. You made lean. No. Oh, what is it? It's like a... It's almost like a pie, except it's not a pie. Cobbler? Cobbler. Cobbler. Yeah. Dude, cobbler. Cobbler's so yeah, fucking great. good. Dude, I love the, cobbler. The, uh, the crust. Oh, 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 God. You make me want some cobbler now. That's and it's really fantastic. easy to make. Yeah. All of it's super easy let's to make. Let's make one today. After we finish this podcast, let's go get the... Because I have to go to the store, get some cat food, you know. We should go get ingredients, make a well, cobbler. Well, we should go to the store in general because we need more water. We, we quit water bottles. Because Tucker is Woo. a very environmental man. 
and we moved to our ways. big jugs of water. Right, which, which is still a lot of which is still a lot of plastic. Not as much. You guys are trying to figure out, uh, you know, a nice compromise. So, <laughs> Tucker, like, how much of a of a sweat do you break out in staying with us in our apartment and and just seeing the waste we lay to the environment? Um, I I try to acknowledge <laughs> that. You guys are your own people, and you can do whatever you want. <laughs> like and we're like we're like he's observing two fucking bears <laughs> in the wild. Like they're, they're, it's their like, environment. It's, I don't interrupt well, them. It's your I don't thing. intervene I'm with them. Gonna... You just watch. Yeah. You just observe. And, and like I'm not the most environmentally conscious person in the world. You know, like I still do. You're pretty environmentally things, conscious. So yeah, you know. You side eye me every time I litter on the ground. When do you litter on the ground? Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clearing clearing me of there any go. guilt. There you go. Yeah. But like I don't know, maybe 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 we the you know constantly using disposable plates and forks and knives, <laughs> cups, like using using no because our dishwasher sucks. Our and we don't want to suck. You guys, yeah. What what what, Tucker? Well, you can wash your own dishes. Fuck that, dude. Dude, Tucker, Tucker. Some somebody's Tucker. This. These plastic utensils have already been produced, so right. someone's got to use them. Yeah, someone has to use them. It's not like you guys are contributing to the demand that creates more. And, it, and, and it's uh, well, I mean, if we stopped using them, are they going to suddenly? Oh, damn! Our sales just went down tenfold. These stupid boys in Glendale stopped buying our plastic merchandise. Well, it's it's part of a larger system, right? But we all have to acknowledge. That, uh, We're gonna kill the planet well, one way or the other. That, that's <laughs> so fuck it. Okay. Yeah, so here fuck we go. It. Never mind. So fuck it. <laughs> we have to acknowledge what though? We have to acknowledge that large industry plays a really big part of um, economic or, or environmental waste. Well, I mean, Tucker came into my room and I didn't flush my toilet, and I went, "Hey, I'm saving water." There you go. So, and he yeah. commended me for it. He said, yeah. I think I can, <laughs> I can probably give you guys uh, like a little piece of paper that's like, you pass the uh, Tucker Prescott is your friend course of okay. standing. I'd, I would prefer to have that on plastic. What what would be overtly wasteful to you? Like what 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 is something you would, probably uh, already no 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 no, no 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 something he something he would see of us and he would have to step in. Uh -huh. You would I, have to step in. And you'd be like, okay, you you don't let's stop this. If if you guys were just littering all the time, I would be bothered okay. by that. But like, but honestly, the only thing that really bothers me about you guys <laughs> is that that your for some reason your apartment complex doesn't recycle. Okay. Okay. Well, that, why is that a problem with us? It's not. It's not. You, you know said hate you about said you guys. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you guys live somewhere that has yeah. no recycling. Yeah. You chose this. That was the reason well, you chose this. Well, eventually when we it? when we get a house, we'll have recycling. Yeah. yeah. So like you if you want to know how uh Ted Tucker likes to reuse and recycle, uh you weren't there, but we went to the store um to get some ingredients <laughs> to make a casserole one night for food. And um we we're like, "Okay, we need a casserole." So we don't have any uh we don't have like the dish you put a casserole in. So it's like, "Okay, we'll go buy one of the uh like the aluminum ones." Yeah. We're walking into the store and outside Sitting like upside down in one of the potted plants <laughs> was was like a kind of crinkled up aluminum tin. It was exactly <laughs> the tin we needed. <laughs> and, and Tucker was like, "We don't need to buy one. We'll just use this." But it's funny. Didn't we already have aluminum aluminum tins in our apartment? I, I don't because I because I saw some that weren't the ones that you well, found because Matt wanted to buy normal ones because it's like a dollar. So you still bought some. So you still wasted. Mm. No, no, no. We I, we we didn't have aluminum tins. It wasn't Tucker's decision. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't. Hey, well, Tucker, it's, it was like a crinkled up aluminum tin in a potted fine. plant. It was fine. Somebody it, left it was there. there and forgot why about was it there for a reason? Then you though. wash it. You because wash it, and then it's fine. It. You wash it, it's fine. It's How metal. did someone forget their aluminum tin that they just bought at the grocery store in a potted plant outside the store? You probably Upside stole it. You, they probably put it in there to hide it, and they needed something else, yeah. and then you took it. How did Ryan forget where his keys are? Were or in general? Just because the, my tile does. Because my tile ran out of batteries. I just ordered new tiles. Well, you know what we need is tiles for little aluminum. Casserole dishes. Tiles are fucking amazing. <laughs> like, I lose shit all the time, and I have to say, I support tile or any product similar to tile. Sorry, I'm not whoring myself out to exclusively <laughs> tile, but anything that'll Sponsor this beep, tile, yeah, if, when you press a button and it, and you'll find it easy, it, it's, it's it's a good is, product to really me. Nice. Well, really you, nice. you technically could put a tile on a, uh, an aluminum casserole mm -hmm. dish because they have the ones that are real thin, so you could probably stick it on. So I'd be like, damn it, where did I yeah. put my aluminum casserole dish? And I could click it. And I'd, you can I'd set up a little thing in your app that says aluminum. Right. Yeah. 
You Find can a my them. aluminum casserole dish. Yeah. <laughs> GPS locator. Then you press it, then you hear beep, 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 yeah. beep, beep, beep. Problem solved. But uh, put one on banana. So if I ever lose them, I can uh, Like, just it. make them wear it as, like, a little collar. That's smart, yeah. But then if he goes a little bit outside of range, it's... But if someone finds him, yep. they can click it. Mm-hmm. You know? Ooh, cool. That's actually pretty smart. Yeah. I gotta get him a collar. He doesn't have a collar. And he tries to run outside of the apartment sometimes. Oh, wait a second, guys. What? We got two movies that we saw. Oh, yeah. Both I- Emily Osment movies. Yes. I, not Emily... Osment. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say Osment. Olsen. 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 <laughs> Emily Osment is a... Uh... Is the girl you have a crush on still? I don't still have a crush on. If, hey, if, she, if, if, she, if she DM'd you, you'd to like, go on a date with me, Big Matt. You'd say, <laughs> you'd say, you'd say, hell yeah. Yes, I would. <laughs> so, I mean. Because she's from Spy Kids, dude. Because <laughs> she, oh, is that the reason? Is that who this is? The, yeah. The main. No, 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 no. This is, the, this is the girl that had the pigtails. This is Hannah like, Montana's best friend. In the Hannah Montana show. The stupid one. Yeah. You got to show me a picture of this. Oh, man. She was cute, man. She was real cute. Was? Well, still, I don't know what she, she looks can't, like now. Yeah. All right, let me see what she looks like now. She was in some cyber bully movie. Oh, the. I'm sorry, Emily Osment's really cute still. I just have to say. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's see it. Let's see it. I don't even know who this is. She's cute. She's she's cute. Uh, well, she oh, kinda, she okay. kind of has a Tommy Lauren her. vibe to yeah. her now. She yeah, looks yeah. a little like Tommy Lauren. I don't know. Mm, yeah. She's cute though. I still I still if she DM'd me and was like, hey, Big Matt, let's go on a date. I'd say, all right, Big Emily, and she'd go. She does what look did you like. Call me? She looks like she is in a Southern sorority. Yeah. Yes. Maybe that's why I get the Tommy Lauren vibe, because Tommy Lauren looks like she's fresh out of a sorority. Yeah. Pie Kappa Gamma. <laughs> um, Friends forever. But we did see two movies. The first one being Wind River, which we all unanimously came to the conclusion that it was painfully average. Yeah. It was, yeah. Not just like, it was okay. It was yeah. just unfortunately yeah. bland. Like there was, it <laughs> just seemed like there was potential for like of the idea. Like it could have been really cool. Because they had a good writer. Well, yeah. well, well, here's my, remember, my theory was, because it's from the same writer as Sicario, which is a great movie. Right. Amazing. Um, One of my favorite movies of all time. And so my thing is, this might have been an earlier script that he wrote, and the studio's like, well, we can use his name right. to help promote this. This isn't any new material, this is some old stuff, let's just bring it up. It's not that good, up. but we can shoot it no problem, and however long it takes, we don't need that many actors. Get Hawkeye in there. Right. Yeah. Two, exactly. By the way, the two leads in this are both Marvel characters. <laughs> one one is, is Renner a Marvel character? Jeremy Renner is Hawkeye, and then Emily Olsen, okay. I almost said Osmond. Em- Emily Olsen is something witch. The Blair Witch. Some stupid witch. The big She's mean the witch. witch. She's yeah. the big mean witch. And you know what? Honestly, the whole writer thing of uh, Sam Ryder Sicario, that's what got us there. I yeah. Mean, like, that's that is, the main that, thing. I mean, yeah. They did They did good a good job. Because other thing. than that, the trailer didn't look like it was, it looked, the trailer looked average, but I'm like, maybe they're just not giving everything away. I didn't even see the trailer, so I went into this movie fully blind, which I don't do often. I, I, I rarely do that, so it felt kind of cool. I, like, oh, I, I, I wish I could do that, but I love watching trailers too much. Yeah. And then the other movie we saw was also an Emily Olsen movie, uh, Ingrid Goes West. These are both like smaller movies. So we had to go to a yeah. special theater to see these. So. Which I think there there isn't a great divide in opinion, but there is a slight divide in opinion. Matt, you didn't like it at all. No, I, I, I just wasn't a fan of it. I, liked, I didn't think it was awful. I just didn't like it. I liked certain aspects. Yeah. And yeah, agreed. Uh, I feel like it failed to uphold what it was going for i guess like i wanted like i yeah. thought it should have been more of a caricature of it of the culture yeah. like it, it was a satire like it the the world that it was based in was a satirical one on la culture yeah. but it wasn't but it wasn't far enough yeah exactly like it just sort of it, it felt like it was going somewhere like uh, it felt like it was really going to build up this ridiculous persona around Aubrey plaza and it just sort of petered out. It didn't. It didn't go very far. And then it got like serious at the end. Yeah. yeah. And then there was a really just the ending was really bad. And I gave so my stupid. idea for the ending, and I thought, I thought my idea was better. The car chase and the shootout. Yeah. Where, where Ice Cube comes in and goes, "That's my son," because <laughs> that's Ice Cube's son that that plays David. Dan. Oh, is that really his really? son in real life? Yeah. No Cause, way. Because oh, that that's sense. the same guy that played yeah. him in uh, what's the movie? He totally... What's that movie where he plays his own dad? You know what? Dude. What's that movie? 
I, I I'm playing my father and I'm Ice Cube's son. The movie. No, it's 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 it got it was really big. It was about N N W A. Straight out of Compton. Yes. Oh. Okay, so that whole the whole movie, I kept looking at that actor, and I kept thinking he looks like Ice Cube. It's Ice Cube's son, I didn't boy. Didn't know it was his son. Wow. Go Ice Cube. Go man, but uh, yeah, the ending was the ending dumb. Sucked. Even Ice Cube's son, char- son's character, who was the best character. Oh, the whole by thing, far, yeah. Uh, gets messed up by the end. Like yeah, his character is right kind of all over the place. Yeah. yeah, it didn't make sense. Tucker nailed it on the head where it felt like the the ending was written separately. Yeah, it yeah. just seemed like they had some other ending in in store for us, and then. Uh, some producer came in and was like, what if this totally other thing that really doesn't fit? Yeah, and also I, I just think, um, without spoiling too much, I just think the ending had a really shitty message. Like a really just dumb, awful message. I yeah. get what the, like it wasn't trying to show it in a positive light, what happened at the end. And I get what they were going for, but I think they failed at the ending theme. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Ryan, I got a question for you. If Ice Cube contacted you and he said, hey, I've been watching Super Mega, real funny stuff you got there. But um, one thing I really like is I like these jokes, you know, you guys make about each other's mothers. Okay. So I looked up your mom, Ryan, um, and, I, and I found her on Facebook and everything, and I think she's real cute. And I was wondering if you can get us in contact um, because I'm looking for... Uh, you know, I'm I'm getting older. I'm Ice Cube. I'm getting older, and pretty soon uh, the gears aren't going to be turning as much, which means you know I can't whore my mom out if she's a married woman, and she is. Well, fortunately for all of you out there, he's looking for a vessel to plant his seed in before he gets too old to do that anymore. Because he doesn't he doesn't believe in sperm banks. He doesn't want to freeze his sperm. I, I'd set up a meeting with uh, my mom, Jim, and Ice Cube. Yeah. Would Jim have to go? Oh wait, my mom can't have uh, children anymore. I'm not so, sure if I should say that on the podcast. But, <laughs> uh, she got her vagina ripped out. <laughs> ripped out? <laughs> she got something taken she had, out. She can't have kids anymore. Shot. They just stapled me. She, she didn't. She, she didn't get her tubes tied. She got something literally taken out of her. Hysterectomy. Hysterectomy. That's what it is. Yeah. Vasectomy is the male one. Vasectomy is when they slice <laughs> your your tubes. Yeah. You know, if you're Ryan, if you're never planning on having kids, you should just go ahead and get a vasectomy. Yeah. That way, you never have to pull out or spray and pray. You can just. Go and it's it. and it's reversible. Is it? Mm-hmm. Really? They make vasectomies reversible now? Yeah, of course. Ryan, you're getting, no. Okay. <laughs> Someone out there, some guy, some poor guy's gonna be like, "Oh my god, <laughs> uh, that's awesome!" I, 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 and then if I want to have kids, I can just go get it undone. And he's gonna go get a vasectomy. Wait, is it so the the girls one is reversible? I don't know. One no, of them is reversible. I, no, I don't yes. think so. I'm gonna look it up. Anymore. Some poor guy's gonna go get his his vasectomy, and then ten years be like, "I really want kids. Now's the time." I'll go get it reversed, and they're like, you can't reverse this. And then he's going to have a terrible bout of depression because he can't have children. And Ryan, it's all because Ryan McGee told him that a vasectomy is reversible. Reverse vasectomy, Los Angeles. 99% success rate, oh now $500 God. off. Oh, my God. How much vasectomy reversal rates. We make dads again. 99.5% <laughs> success rate. Dadsagain.com. That should be the the URL for if they make a Dream Daddy sequel. A vasectomy is considered a permanent method of birth control. Vasectomy reversal reconnects the tubes that were cut during a vasectomy. Vasectomy reversal is usually an outpatient procedure without an overnight stay in the hospital. Don't they usually, like, they don't even put you to sleep for a vasectomy, I thought. I think they just kind of shoot your balls, numb them, and then just open them up. and They hand hand you an Xbox controller, say, hey, play some Halo for a bit. (laughs) Like at the like at barbershops, <laughs> play some Frogger. Like at the dentists. <laughs> yeah, I used to. I remember I got my hair cut once. Did you ever play 1080? No. The snowboard game. Yeah, snowboard yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I played. I played uh office. for a little bit. I think the snowboard kids, and then uh, tr- what is the one? Is it? It's tricky. It's tricky. Oh, S S S W. S S X tricky. S S X. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I don't remember the exact order of those. Those were the only two I've ever played. I've watched uh, Daniel play as Tricky all the time. Oh, same. that was like he his it all the time. It was. His, I think that might have been one of his favorite games. That and like Dante's Inferno. I couldn't play yeah. that game. It was too hard. The snowboarding one. I was just like tried and I just crashed every two seconds. He just play yeah. for like he just played for straight probably two hours straight and it would be me sitting on the couch and watching him. The snowboard game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. S S X S S S X S. I don't know the letters. S S X S X S S X Tricky S S X S S X S S X. That's hard to say. S S X. S-S-X. Say that three times fast. S S X S S X S S X S S X. Ten eighty had this intro where they would say 
1080 really cool. Like, 1080. And then there would be this cool hip-hop beat, and, and uh, it would be amazing. Yeah. Was well, there an explosion and like a ding I wish. Of a violin? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of a, like a, a An electric violin. Yeah. Mod the game, put that in there. Make I, it even better. I, um, I went and I got my hair cut when I was uh, young at a place that had what? video games Wait, once. wait. You got your hair cut when you were young? Yes, I did, Holy Ryan. shit. And, um... I just remember the woman had like a wooden hairbrush and she just started like, she was brushing my hair with it, but she was like smacking my head. She was hitting you upside the and head. And I, I got, I got tears brush. in my eyes. Yeah. Cause she was just brushing my hair. So Why didn't hard. you tell her to stop? <laughs> so I, was, I was too timid, <laughs> too passive. And I was just sitting there with tears welling in my eyes. Just like, oh. was, were your parents there watching? My dad was in the other room. And your dad doesn't have mm-hmm. hair, so yeah. he couldn't feel the pain. Yeah, he, My he dad has hair. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, I gotta defend this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pull out my shield. <laughs> yeah, but I just remember, that stuck with me. That woman your just, she hurt, my, she hurt my head. The guy who used to cut my hair always would like, uh, take the little buzzer thing and buzz my ears too close. Hurt my ears. Oh. I need to get a haircut. I do too. I got because ever since I shaved my head bald again, I just let it grow out evenly, and like yeah. you can see on it's like okay, you a, a little some, a little yeah, simple yeah, yeah, yeah. set up. Someone just described it as when it was a little shorter, as I looked like an anime character because you know how they have that like kind of just haircut, kind of some <laughs> of them, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't. I, what character has that haircut? I don't know. I'm sure. That, I'm sure. Just some American the will get anime. the the. <laughs> Got that oh on. yeah, that that that's the classic <laughs> anime haircut. <laughs> you should just get a bowl cut. God, going a little have long. Have you ever had a Dude, bowl cut? Ryan? The thing is, have I, you ever had one? Uh, I'm sh- not a complete. Bowl, you would look great, but I've had cut. like a coconut head. Oh my god, I want to see that. Do you uh, have it's of when that? I was in. Um, I, I'll try to find pictures. Your book it's, picture, maybe? it's it's when I was probably in middle school. That's fantastic. Yes. Speaking of middle school, you told me a story earlier that I wanted you to tell on the podcast. I thought it was really funny. Remind me again. It was uh, the uh, ed- your school. Oh, had, uh... the, that was elementary school. Oh, okay. That was at River Springs Elementary School. Shout out to River Springs Elementary School. River Springs. If you went to River Springs Elementary School in Irmo, South Carolina. <laughs> anyway, Ooh. so I think I think uh, the mascots like Crocky the crocodile, and uh, so every morning they'd have like volunteer students or whatever go and kind of like. <laughs> It's, he's a puppet, and so they like pretend they pretend to be him, and it'd be like, "Hey kids, today for lunch we're having milk, the pudding, green beans, and meatloaf." And then like that would be what the kids would do. Did the do. puppet have a name? What did the puppet have a name? Crocky the crocodile. Crocodile. Crocky the so original. I think that was it. So Correct creative. me if I'm wrong, River Springs alumni. Um, <laughs> so this would play out throughout the elementary school. This was live. This right. was live broadcasted to River Springs. Um, on those little CRT TVs. Yeah, all the right. kids, it would be their favorite part of the day almost. It would be like, oh, what are we having for lunch? And oh, we don't have to learn anything. Let's just watch Crocky and um, tell us what's for lunch. And one time it was my turn. I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And so in the middle of kind of starting it, I realized that they didn't have the right menu. And I didn't know what to say. And they're like, no, no, not that menu. And I was like, hey, kids, today we're having milk. Uh, we're, uh. And then I just stopped. And then I took it off and ran away. <laughs> and, then, and then the adult had to finish it. And I went and cried because oh I was so embarrassed God. of my. Because, like, the thing is, to helm the crocky puppet, to helm the puppet it's was big this. big responsibility. No, like, when you're that age. Like, it's yeah. a huge response. You're like, I'm crocky. That is big. Every kid in the school is watching me. Crippled by fear and self-doubt. Like, I, just, <laughs> yeah. I, I wish I had that footage crocky. somewhere, like a VHS recording of the <laughs> little green puppet freezing up and just, today we're having a... P- uh, when you stuttered, did you, did you move the mouth to go with the stutters? I don't know. I think I just went limp. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a stroke. <laughs> Call an ambulance. I felt so bad. Yeah, so my, my school had a... I didn't get a redo. That was the only oh, time I got to do it. They didn't let you do it again? No. Like, no because the teacher you had your chance. They were like, this is, the, this is the test run to see if <laughs> yeah. little Ryan McGee can be the next Crocky, and he foiled it. I failed. But um, my my high school had a, uh, or middle school and high school had a, a thing similar to that, where they would broadcast a morning news program to the school. Um, and I just remember there was this kid, I think he was a freshman, and he was doing it one day. And he said this not knowing what it meant, but he was like, 
all right, SOA, which that was my school was SOA. He was like, all right, SOA, uh, get out there, study hard and bust a nut. <laughs> <laughs> and he had no idea what it meant. Like he clearly didn't know what it meant. But I just remember watching that live. I love your voice school. for the guy. Yeah. Just, and bust a nut. <laughs> and I like, I just remember everyone was like silent. Like, what? What did he just say? Bust a nut. <laughs> what, wait, what grade was this in? I think, uh, I, I think I was in 10th grade and he was in 9th grade. <laughs> wow. Bust a nut. Someone might have told him to say it. Yeah. I've been in that oh, situation definitely. before. Yeah, exactly. That's happened to me. I, not on the loudspeaker, but I remember when I was in like 4th grade, some kid was like, hey, show your middle finger to the teacher. It's like, sure. I mean, like, whatever. I don't know why you think your I parents do didn't that. teach That's... you that you shouldn't have done middle finger no, stuff. Not when I was like, how old? How old are you in fourth grade? Like three or something? Nine, yeah. ten, nine. I don't know. Yeah. Some some young age. No, I didn't know. I have a very similar story. In fourth grade, a kid told me to go up to my teacher and hold up my first three fingers like this and say, "Read between the lines." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Did you do it? I. I can't did remember. You? Part of me feels uh, like I did. No, I feel like the trauma would have definitely stayed if you did it. The I don't teacher think would not have let that slide. I do remember in fourth grade seeing the <laughs> class, and I had a dictionary, and I found the word ejaculate. And I remember not knowing what it meant. And I remember um, it, it wasn't. It didn't give the definition because it was. Uh, it was like referring me like see ejaculation something like that, or it was referring to me to a different part of the dictionary. So it didn't yeah. have the definition. And I and I was like, what does this mean? And I knew I'd heard it before. And I and I knew it was like something kind of like not normal or not safe for a fourth grader. So I considered going up to my teacher and asking what this meant. <laughs> well, I didn't though. I just have that memory of sitting at my desk contemplating if I should go ask the teacher what ejaculate means. <laughs> Did you guys? You guys had sex ed, right? Uh, yeah, that was in fifth grade. South Carolina sex ed we, sucks. They don't we, teach we, you anything. We weren't allowed to laugh during the video. They don't teach you how sex people happens. Got, people got sent into the hallway. Yeah. For laughing during the video. Oh. And those kids grew up to never know yeah. what sex was. They're fucking children. What do you expect? Like, you Just big adult bastards. It's way better if they're laughing. I know. It's, like, they're it's, still it's learning. Totally fine, yeah. It's just, it's just an uncomfortable subject. Well, I remember South Carolina sex ed was really, like, behind the curve, and they don't actually teach you about sex or any of that stuff. They leave that up to the parents. So all they yeah. teach you is, like, periods. Um, pregnancy. And pregnancy. But they don't teach you anything else. They just teach you that. And it was always really shitty cartoons. They talked about masturbation in the video. It, for you? In my video, I think. I never I never saw the gonorrhea videos though. Apparently, I think I was cuz they showed they showed these videos in this like auditorium in high school, I think. And I just wasn't there that day and people were like, "Dude, you're you're lucky you didn't go to that." Cuz it was on a big projector screen and shit. Does this show like real gonorrhea and besides fake Gonor no, no. Was it what, like what I'm saying is, do they show like <laughs> real pictures gonorrhea. and videos of like dicks with gonorrhea? Yeah, they show like pictures of like dicks and vaginas with with uh, warty goodness on them. Ooh, warty goodness. Let me smell that good warty goodness. <laughs> warty goodness. <laughs> hey, hey, can I order an escort? Yeah, sure, honey. What you need? Got any with some good warty goodness? Oh yeah. Ooh, cream of the crop. You know my favorite thing about going to the crop. <laughs> going no. to movies with you, my favorite thing about going to movies with you is the moment it'll get silent in like a movie or like in between trailers, I'll just hear Ryan just go. <laughs> you gotta fill the silence. Just it'll <laughs> the whole theater will go silent. Or like after a trailer, I'll just go and like pat you and I'll like pat you on the knee. I'll be like, because <laughs> <laughs> you know people around can hear those noises. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're just like, what's, because imagine you never make those noises. You're a regular human being and you're sitting in a movie theater, just ah, movie's about to start and it's black and silent and you just hear, <laughs> you're going to be wondering what that is. I feel like an alien is shape-shifting behind me. You know what? I bet you probably add to the atmosphere in probably. the sci-fi movies that you go to. Definitely. Yeah. Tucker, what did you think of the Arclight Hollywood Cinema? Oh, it's I, cool. I love that theater I, because right. of how respectful it is. To it's them. wonderful. You, you really like it, yeah, I can tell. And I, I mean, I like it, but I, I it seems like the main difference is the rules, right? Mm -hmm. Like they won't let anyone in when after the movie, the movie starts. starts. Like you can That's still come in cool. when the when the yeah. previews are going. And oh, then really? they, yeah, which seems like a pretty cool rule. And then they introduced the movie, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool as well. And the only place I've ever been to that did that was the Nickelodeon in Columbia, which is an amazing they also, good theater. Yeah. They also stay and make sure the sound quality is good yeah. and the picture is good. Which, because yeah, a lot of times in theaters, either. sound the sound is way too quiet. Or way too loud. Yeah. Which is even worse. It's good in IMAX if it's just loud. I saw Dukirk in IMAX and it was fantastic. 
Yeah, but if you guys are ever in uh, Los Angeles and you want a really nice movie theater to go to, go check out the Arclight Cinema in Hollywood. You were about to say something close. bad about it, Tucker, though. Well, I was just going to say... Are they not environmentally oh. friendly enough? <laughs> <laughs> like, I know the seats aren't as fancy as no, you'd like. It was just... Um, I don't, I, it's, uh, they serve alcohol? It was amazing. The popcorn's fresh? But it fresh. wasn't like... The, I, it's not the most amazing thing ever. I don't know. This no, is... I'm just saying it's a good theater experience. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I'm that's not exactly saying it. we're watching the crucifixion of Christ here. Right. Yeah, it's, it's a good theater. Although need, it you, would need, look, you need a good theater experience it, for that. It, it would look fantastic in this theater. Oh, the art And light? sound yeah. great. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whoosh! Yeah. I think... The... <laughs> Brian! Brian! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god no yeah just like that it would sound just like that perfect yeah. Yeah. i would like to hear that laugh can in, you like in, in the yeah. light theater <laughs> can when you, when you uh put this on the internet can you like add some special effects behind the whoosh and like <laughs> like big music and echo and reverb <laughs> that's what it's gonna sound uh. like but it's a nice theater experience. It's yeah. a really and nice my, theater My experience. favorite thing about the theater, other than the cool rule about not being able to show up after the movie starts, is the huge area in the front of the movie theater. Yes. Where maybe the lobby. like in a normal... No, no, no. In the front of the theater. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, like in front of the f first few rows, just like a big open yeah. space. Yeah. I, I love that. Because it's like they don't want anybody to be so close to the screen that... The they screen's can't big see anything. Too. The screens, screens are big, size. so they create this huge space where nobody can sit because they want everybody to have a nice experience. Yeah, it's good. It, it is expensive. It is, but expensive. Movie Pass now has dropped their price. Oh yeah, to nine ninety five a month. Hard to believe for movies for a movie every twenty four hours. And movies are always more expensive than nine ninety five. Uh, they're per they're movie. Yeah. they're like fifteen something. They're anywhere between thirteen and like sixteen something, or they could 18, go up to twenty something. 20, yeah. Can uh can Movie Pass sponsor us? Maybe I would love for Movie Pass to sponsor us, but a lot of people AMC's mad at them, and th I think there's a lawsuit that AMC is trying to get uh get Movie is after Movie Pass. Sorry, let me restart that. AMC is trying to s uh, sue Movie Pass. I think like so they can't use it in AMC theaters. Yes, because. They're like, I don't understand how you're charging this much money. They're they're losing money. And but I think the main point of what MoviePass is trying to do, if I've I've only read a few articles and shit, but I think they're do they're trying to get more people to the theater, and they're also using this as like information to sell to advertisers, maybe possibly because mm. I think like you can track your movie watching mm. habits. Yeah. And then it'll guide advertisements and stuff. But the thing is, like, <laughs> even if they're not getting as many, like, raw ticket sales, more people are going to see movies, which means more concession sales. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Which they would probably make more matters. money with MoviePass. That's true. And not to mention, I think MoviePass says they, they pay the full price of the ticket. But how does that work? It's, uh, it's in theory, the advertising <laughs> stuff that they sell covers the rest? I guess. Because, I don't the, know. like, the thing is, let's say you live somewhere where a movie ticket is $12, $13. And you get movie pass, and that's uh, ten dollars. When people go to a movie, popcorn and drinks and candy, they buy that stuff, and that's way more. I think that yeah. outreaches the original price that they would have lost exactly. with the ticket. You know, yeah. there's been some things where like this could be the death of movie theaters, and I think like some people are saying that this they're trying to decrease the price of tickets by doing this in movie theaters because they're. Mm -hmm. I, I I love. The theater experience. I love going yeah. to a movie theater, but movie tickets are so damn expensive these yeah. days. I had to get it right away because it's just like the first movie I see out here, I already save money. Weren't they like six, seven bucks when we were kids? Uh, I, re I remember. I remember stuff being like five something. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, movie like theater in my hometown is two dollars a movie. Wow. And in the mid, like in like 2010, you yeah. had to up it because they weren't making enough. So now it's two fifty. Is this like a where is this? Is this like a dollar Artsville. cinema? Is it like a Regal or AMC, or is it like I a, think it's Regal. Like a draft house situation. It's it's not a, it's like a two-screen theater oh, in downtown. Okay. They show movies that, but they show movies that are like currently playing. Like, it's not like they show old movies. That's mm -hmm. awesome. It's really cool. That's my, I would love to. It's a it, shitty theater, though. It's awful. It sounds bad, and it looks oh. bad. Oh, well, that's, then that's why. Have you ever been to the Dollar Theater on St. Andrews Road? Mm -mm. In, no. In uh, South Carolina? No. 
That's where, uh, that's of course where all field trips were. That's where all youth movie trips were. <laughs> they were always to the dollar cinema. Cause it's funny. Cause, uh, they'd all, you know, the dollar cinema gets movies after like, like maybe a week or no, probably two weeks after a regular movie releases or so, maybe even longer than that. But when it comes to like Christian cinema day one, they'd be shown at the dollar theater. God, I'm so excited for God's Not Dead 3. They did announce it. Yeah. So I'm I am, I will it, see it. I, I will Gotta see, see it. it. Who's making these movies? Who's making the God is Not Dead movies? God. Pure Flix, I think yeah, is Pure what they're Flix. called. Pure Flix makes. And they have their own version of Netflix where it's yeah. just for like <laughs> Christian and religious movies. And I looked at it and it looks, we should get a subscription just for a month and just review what we saw. Yeah. Because <laughs> so I watched the trailer for some of those movies. They look atrocious. They look so bad. Mm. It's not even funny. You know, Netflix and Pure Flix, they're all good. They're but a tight honestly, competition. Well, I mean, I'm always going to stick with the original. Um, so What's the, mo- What's the original? What's the original the- streaming service. The Bible? Jetflix. Is that a Syndigo reference? Yep. Nice, bro. I'm, I'm going to stick with my original streaming service, which is the good book itself. In the making of that video of Jetflix, I legitimately threw a remote and broke it in anger. <laughs> Why? Because uh, Daniel kept, like, fucking up his line and laughing, and then people were waiting outside of our house, and they've been waiting outside of our ho- of my house for, like, ten minutes now. <laughs> and Daniel was like, no, we gotta finish the scene. And, but he kept laughing. I was like, oh, we gotta do this to let him in. And I, I, I broke. I had to throw it. I, gro- I, it, it was I mean, necessary it's, it's, for uh, the scene. It's, uh, it's in one of the blooper reels of me throwing it. But it's, like, pure <laughs> anger. Yeah. Like real anger. It's just frustration. I'm just so frustrated. <gasps> I'm like, ugh, I just want this to end. I had a because fr- I because I get anxious when people are waiting on me. Yeah, and it just builds and builds and builds yeah. until I explode and shoot someone. Right. We had this what? great we had this great blooper from what we were shooting recently. It's just like I don't I don't know <clears throat> about this um, remote that you threw, but like I just imagine it going off screen uh, when it gets, <laughs> when it gets to yeah. because because this blooper that we <clears throat> had oh was, yeah. And the shoot that we just had this weekend, we can, Ryan, I mean, we can say it. What where it I is. ate ass by yeah. going down the smallest slope possible <laughs> at a skate park. <laughs> Starting that by saying where I ate ass makes it sound like a <laughs> where different I thing. ate ass. Uh, it's a shot where it's Ryan standing on a skateboard, <laughs> and there's a ramp, and the ramp can't be more than it it's like not a even foot two ramp. foot. It's yeah. not even not two even foot. Feet. It's it's a foot. It's yeah. probably a foot ramp. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a steady it starts slope. Starts to slope, but like right at the beginning of the slope, it's a steep slope. There's a little bend. There's a little bend right at the top of the slope. This is important. Because that's just, this is like the catalyst. It's like an exponential curve, not a straight yeah. slope. And yeah. I haven't skateboarded in a while, so I forget the you know wise knowledge of leaning into, you know, yeah, the 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 roll. So uh, Ryan just starts to go down it, and he just completely just falls on <laughs> his ass. I have I have I have a like a bottle of uh, bubbles. bubbles in my hand and it splashes into my face and eyes as I fall. <laughs> you straight, you sloshed it. it was like, <laughs> yeah. That was like a, yeah. a complete slosh straight in your face and your hat was glistening with the bubbles. Yeah. Your face was all it's like amazing. dripping. It was followed by major disappointment because yeah. it was not because, captured. Because we were framing for <clears throat> Ryan to come into the shot. Yeah. Uh, as soon as he goes down the slope. And so I get Ryan in the shot, like I'm checking focus, and then I turn the camera a little bit so he's just out of frame, and that's right when he falls. <laughs> so all you see is like his feet yeah. like fly you up. You see my the legs air. flay. <laughs> you just see on the edge of the screen his big goofy legs fly up in the air, <laughs> and then uh, you hear the sound of the bubbles sloshing everywhere, and you see the skateboard like go flying. Then you hear, whoa, and you're laughing. And, Are you okay? I, I laugh yeah, my dude. ass off. You had a smile on your face the moment you got up, though. Because yeah. like, it was hilarious, and I wanted to see <laughs> it right away. It was so funny. I'm like, I knew, because oh. the way it felt, I'm like, okay, that was a solid, that was a solid fall. This oh, has yeah. to look beautiful. Oh. This has to look like, I'm, I'm sad that I didn't get to see it. You guys got to see it. It was glorious. My, my favorite part about that, though, was like five <laughs> seconds earlier, you're like, okay, I might fall. And then, yeah. <laughs> so uh, if we have enough uh, behind the scenes footage of this uh, one video coming out, um, we will release a behind the scenes video. Um, but And we'll include that. And if not, we'll just put that clip on Twitter or something. But, Google uh, Plus. <laughs> yeah, we'll Ray put, William we'll put Johnson. Google Plus. More like gay William Johnson. More like Frey William Johnson. More like Slay William Johnson. More like Laid William Johnson. Nice, dude. He gets a lot of Cause, boom. Because he had that, he had, he was, fr- he was boyfriend to a, what's that girl's name? She's, she's Asian. She has like a vlog channel. 
Akira. I don't know what her name is. Asa Akira. Is that her name? Yeah. No, it's not. No, that's a porn star. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Tucker knew too. He's like, that's yeah, a porn yeah. star. Maybe I'll recognize Asa Akira. Let me see. She's she's Asian. She's got a big a big fat butt. That's what she's famous for. She's famous for for her anal is she sex cute? scenes. I think she's I think she's attractive. She was on the Eric Andre show. She, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They seen that one? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm about to rate her right now. I wanted to show you this. Oh, that shot looks great. Sorry, Tucker just showed me a shot from our music video. And it's... she she kind of looks like the uh, Mantis from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Let me see. I would let's get Asa Kira on the podcast. That'd be amazing. <clears throat> and and I'll say, hey, let me see your big Asa Akira. Oh, she does look like the Mantis. Yeah. Can you just ask her about the Eric Andre interview the whole time? <laughs> just the, whole the only subject. What one of my favorite uh, YouTube series was going deep with Kasim G. Those were hilarious. He'd interview porn stars. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what you guys were expecting. No, I, I just starting just, a conversation. You started, you started saying a story, started, so I was listening. You got really excited. Then you thanks, slowed thanks down. Thanks for the support, guys. No, because <laughs> no, you were wonderful. excited. You were still yeah. telling your story. You're like, yeah, oh, we were so listening. Yeah, but like, I'm excited, and then I'm staring at two people <laughs> that are just blank face, just like they, the look on your faces were of, okay. After he finishes, I got something to say. No, no, no I was just I was waiting, waiting to hear where you were you. going yeah. with it. Because I had nothing to add at that moment, so yeah. I was to see where's he taking it, where I can yeah. I can jump into this conversation. Dude, you want to restart? Do you want to go ahead and say? No, it? no, it's fine. Kasim G's, 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 G's going deep is really good. That's that's good. You should, what was your funny. favorite part just, of Kasim G? Just try it again. Start. Wait. Start fresh. Just go. Yeah. Pretend like it never happened. Uh, pff, guys. Yeah. I thought of something just off the top of my head. What is it? Lay it on me. You remember Kasim G from back in the old YouTube days, like those Shea Carl, oh, yeah. those nice Peter Epic Lloyd days. Oh yeah, Shane oh, Dawson when he was still a thing. Shane Dawson, sorry Shane. Oh my god. Um, well, he had this YouTube series going on, not a YouTube uh -huh. Red series, because YouTube Red didn't exist. No, right. no, it, did it didn't exist. exist at the time. So he had this YouTube series where he would interview porn stars, oh. and it was really funny, <laughs> and I totally recommend to watch. <laughs> 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 just silence again. <laughs> but have you ever seen Going Deep with no, Kasim G? No. Oh, hilarious! Seriously, watch it. <laughs> he interviews um like some like a little person, a little person? a dwarf. You you mean a they're dwarf called, who's a who's a porn star? They're called little people. Yeah, that's funny how you know they used to be called midgets and people were like or they wanted to be called. Did they want to be called little? Well, people? it's dwarfism. Right. Dwarf that's, just sounds too medieval to me. Well, aren't they separate things? Is dwarfism separate from little people? Oh, I don't know. I feel like there's a difference. Being a midget is is. I feel dwarfism. like dwarfism. Dwarf's the correct term. Dwarf right? is the correct term because it is dwarfism. <laughs> I'm not laughing at dwarfism. I'm laughing <laughs> because dwarf just when I think of dwarf, I think of RuneScape. I think of Lord of the Rings. I think of like. <clears throat> Were there dwarves in RuneScape? Yeah. Could you be a dwarf? You couldn't be a dwarf, but no, there, there was a dwarf like stronghold. Ah. It was like a fortress. Any anyone who is Ever read a little person out there can uh, correct us if. I do. I no, it is dwarfism. Is it? Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, little people that are listening to this podcast, because there's there's probably a few. I just want to say, like, please in the comments and educate me on this, because it's just coming from ignorance. I just don't know. Yeah. Is it okay, Katy Perry? Is it is it is it dwarfism? Is it? Little, do you like to be called little people? I don't know. Yeah. It's it's. I thought the correct term was little people, and then there's dwarfism, which is the little actual people infliction. who are suffering from dwarfism, or they're different. I, 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 they may be different things, but I think both are fine to say. Let me see. Dwarf suffering versus, from dwarfism. Dwarfs versus little people. Dwarf versus little people. What a, what a. That sounds like a movie with dwarves versus. Okay. Like... A, in some circles, a midget is the term used for a proportionate dwarf. Such terms as dwarf, little person, LP, and person of LP? short stature are all acceptable, but most people would rather be referred to by their name than by a label. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can just call hey, me. Hey, midget. <laughs> uh, I have this memory where I was at Disney World as a kid, and um, there was a, uh, a dwarf, and, um, and, and I think I said something out loud like, like Mom, look. A little person or like that man is small or something and I had to apologize to him I have this memory um, my mom's probably gonna listen to this and be like son that never happened so if that's the case then I guess I made that up as a kid and it stuck as a memory you are a liar so I'm not a liar mm. I'm not a liar mm. no I'm not okay what if I lied about Ryan uh you exactly <laughs> 
There's nothing better to break a silence with just... That's just my opinion. <laughs> it's so good. Tucker! I was a kid once. I don't know if you knew this. <laughs> Whoa. And, I'm glad uh, this started something. I was probably about five years old. I went to a wedding. My I think my uncle's wedding. And uh, I remember I was dancing... I danced with some girl, Ooh. like old, like probably like twenty years old, Damn. something. And um, did she grind up on you? I had to have been older than that. I had to probably be like nine, because I remember being like, "Girls are weird." Did she do that prom type of dancing where it was like boom, boom? No. Yeah. I, I, we were just we were just playing around. Oh, we were just oh, fooling just around. Well, she was playing around, we around, we around, around with messing you. Around. Yeah, she gave him a little handy. No, we just uh, <laughs> like tuck her a some, tugger. some kind of like child with adult dance. And I remember leaving that <laughs> wedding. <laughs> Yeah, go on. Sorry, so, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Where it's not. There's a real cougar there. Yeah, uh, I remember leaving that wedding, uh, walking to the car with my parents, and they they said something about me dancing with this girl who was a relative or or friend of whoever, and um, they were like, "Oh, you were great." And I remember saying, uh, "Yeah, what a hottie." <laughs> You said that? Yeah. Well, except what a I said, hottie. Yeah, what a hottie. Man. <laughs> oh, wow. What a hottie. <laughs> and I remember my parents saying, don't don't say that. That's not. That's what a not dame. A yeah. <laughs> that would have been a better. What a yeah. dame. That would have been nice. Is dame, is, has it, does anyone use dame anymore? What a I hope gal. So. What a dame. People who wear fedoras probably use the word dame. You wore a fedora for a shoot because yeah, you I lost did. a odds are. What are the odds? Yeah. I okay, hold on. Well, I saw people recently in the comments still asking what that game is when we say what are the odds. It's So just a quick rundown. I'll say, Ryan, what are the odds you have to tweet a picture of your genitals? And he would say, he'd give me a number. So if he really doesn't want to do it, he'd make the number higher. So he'd say 100, which means the odds of him doing it are out of 100. So at the same time, we both say a number between 1 and 100. And if we say the same number, that means he has to do it. So that's the explanation for everyone that's still wondering because we've done and, it many and times people like podcast. adding stupid rules like if this is a multiple of this then you have to do it if this like if you Whoa. say 4 and 14 then you have to do it because 4 is in that number that's too much a lot of people add stupid rules like that I think the only rule I like to follow is when you say 2 then it's like either you or the other person has to do it because I think that's a fair when it's out of 2 yeah yeah I, th I think that's fun that's a, that's a fun one but uh guys what are you looking at me for Tucker why are you tickling me Tucker Tucker's looking at me as he's touching you I'm not doing anything. Stop else. tickling me, dude. It's freaking me out. <laughs> Ryan, what are you doing? I was trying to pants you. From the front? I, I was sitting That's down. Rough. That's hard to do. I pants you at a urinal. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you, I pants you at a urinal. You did, you did. <laughs> he you, missed it, though. I, I almost peed on myself. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were trying to, we were, we were crossing a crosswalk last night. And there were like a bunch of people walking our way, and Ryan was wearing his classic gym shorts. And I'm like, man, this would be so easy. You give so yourself away. You're not. You're not good at like keeping your emotions in. I well, I I, I just knew that if I did in that moment, it was going to be too much. So it, I was laughing to myself. And I, really, I turned around and noticed it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but um, I caught you kneeling. Like you were, you had your hands in position to pants me. Yeah, I think I just need to commit more. I, I try to take it too slowly. Yeah. I just gotta. No, it's it's, gotta a, it's a it's a fast mo. It's it's supposed to be abrupt yeah. and jarring. I always try to like sneak, get it perfect position, and then do it. But I gotta. Just... I'm wearing gym shorts. You don't need a perfect position. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, but guys, I think that wraps this one up. Uh, thanks to our guest Tucker. You can check him thanks, out. Thanks, Tucker. At his website. Uh, You're welcome, boys. What's, what's the website, Tucker? Shout it out. Uh, TuckerPrescott.com. TuckerPrescott.squarespace.com slash Weebly Prescott. <laughs> yeah, but 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 Tucker, thanks for coming on. Uh, we always love having you around. And keep your eyes it. peeled for the uh, the new stuff yeah. coming out soon. Very um, A new music video that Tucker helped us shoot. Yeah. Hopefully uh, you'll enjoy it, and hopefully we'll be able to do more in the future. Do you think it'll be fun. out by the time Tucker like returns. visits again and returns? It should be, yeah. We got to release some. See, the thing about this music video we're talking about right now is we got to release some other stuff first, yeah. and then this is coming out. Yeah. But uh, see ya. See ya.